we want to find the limit as x approaches zero of the quantity e raised to the power of two x minus one divided by sine four x. But notice as x approaches zero, both the numerator and denominator approach zero, and therefore we say this limit has the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. But because of this indeterminate form, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine this limit. But let's look at this more closely first. Notice in the numerator, as x approaches zero, this approaches e to the zero, which approaches one. As this approaches one, we subtract one, and therefore the numerator approaches zero. And then for the denominator, this is approaching sine zero, which is zero. So because the limit fits one of these indeterminate forms here, we can apply L'Hopital's rule that tells us the limit as x approaches c of this quotient is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the quotient of the derivatives of the two functions. Which means this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of the derivative of e to the power of two x minus one divided by the derivative of sine four x. Well the derivative of e to the two x would be e to the two x times two or two e to the two x. The derivative of one would be zero. The derivative of sine four x would be cosine four x times four or four cosine four x. Now notice as x approaches zero, the numerator is approaching two times e to the zero and the denominator is approaching four times cosine zero. Well e to the zero is one and cosine zero is one, so the limit is equal to two fourths or simplified to one half. Let's verify this graphically. Here's where x equals zero. As we approach zero from the right of the positive side, and as we approach zero from the left of the negative side, we can see that we are approaching the same function value, the function value of one half. Therefore, this graph does verify our limit. Next, we have the limit as x approaches zero of sine six x divided by sine four x. And notice again, we have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero as x approaches zero. So we'll apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine this limit. We'll have the limit as x approaches zero of the derivative of sine six x divided by the derivative of sine four x. Well, the derivative of sine six x would be equal to cosine six x times six, or six cosine six x and the derivative of sine four x would be cosine four x times four or four cosine four x. So notice as x approaches zero, the numerator approaches six times cosine zero and the denominator approaches four times cosine zero. But we know cosine zero is equal to one, so this is equal to six fourths, which simplifies to three halves. So our limit is equal to three halves. And again, let's go ahead and verify this by looking at a graph. Here's where x equals zero. As we approach x equals zero from the right and from the left, we're approaching the same function value, which we can see would be one and a half or three halves. So once again, this graph does verify our limit. I hope you found this helpful.